好，欢迎收看《大湾故事》。今天我们要采访的是 Maple Ridge 的一位 MLA。啊，这位 MLA 呢，他在这行也做了很多年。呃，今天有幸我们采访到 Mr. Doug。So Doug, from what I know, um, you were on the high school sort of student council committee, and later on in life, you went on to being the MLA of the city. So I would like to know how the earlier experience has linked you to the later. Um, choice in becoming an L, um, MLA. Being elected at a very young age, I was about 16 or 17 at the time, to student council, it um, created an experience that really lasted a lifetime. I developed an interest in politics and I developed the confidence that if I wanted to do it again, I could do it again. So even though I was only 16 or 17 at the time that I was on student council, uh, later on in life after my family was grown and uh, my business was established, I felt an interest of going back into politics. And so I ran for city council in Pitt Meadows and I ran successfully for the first time and uh, I was re-elected uh, for three times. You must have done a great job and they really loved you. Yeah, so it's, I guess it's a public service, it's about helping people that you really enjoy? Yeah, exactly. Um, that's always what I found satisfying is helping others and you get that good feeling when you've done something to help other people. As a member of um, the Liberals Party, yes. um, what are some of your short-term goals for um, the city in general? Well, the main thing I would like to do is try to improve the local economy. Mm -hmm. um, pr approximately 70 to 80 percent of the workers commute outside of the community to work. So they're heading to Burnaby or Vancouver mm -hmm. or, and or Richmond. It's quite a drive. It is quite a here. drive. So I'd like to have more employment in the city. Mm -hmm. And now that we've got two new bridges there, we're becoming a new destination for businesses. So I'd like businesses to discover us, first of all, mm -hmm. and then to invest in the area. And that would help to create jobs. And this would allow more people to work in the area. Yeah. As I was driving here, I noticed that um, as we got closer to the city center, it was really nice. All the neighborhoods and all the little shops along the way. Yeah, it no, it's a, it's a beautiful community. It it's is, a great yeah. place to live. Mm -hmm. And if we get more people working here as well, it'd be even better. And there's less traffic on the road and it makes it better for everyone. Do you have any um, special, I guess, concerns regarding the environment or any um, sustainable initiatives that you would like to take in the next few years? Definitely global warming and climate change is a, is a big, big issue for everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to get the right balance. Yeah. How do we improve the economy and also not have a negative effect on, on, the, uh, on the, the environment? Yeah, right. And so it, it's a really a challenge and a and a bit of a puzzle that we have to solve, but we definitely have to do both there. We want a strong economy as well as a healthy environment. Uh, do you have any recommendations or any suggestions you would like to tell our new immigrants who just come, who just came to Vancouver or are looking for sort of a place to settle down? Do you have any um, tips, anything you would like to tell them or anything you think would be helpful? Well, I think that uh, it's important to live in an area that you're comfortable with. Um, certainly, at this present time, it's very expensive to live in the city, mm -hmm. but there's lots of great opportunities. Um, you know, communities like Maple Ridge and Pitt Meadows, they're not that far from Vancouver, and, you know, there's access to Vancouver through the West Coast Express, and it's not too far to get to Coquitlam, and you can take the SkyTrain there. And the housing prices are probably half what it costs in Vancouver. So, you know, it is an option. You shouldn't just look just at Vancouver or Richmond. You should look around the whole lower mainland. Yeah, There's lots of great places yeah. to live. Yeah, and apparently yeah. Um, a lot of new immigrants, when they first come here, they do look at the sort of core Vancouver and then they'll realize that, you know, there's a lot of nice cities, beautiful communities outside of that core. And yeah, I believe Maple Ridge is one of them. Yeah, I know exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. How about for students? Any new any recommendations for new grads? You know, students who just came out of university, myself included, um, <laughs> who are sort of finding you no know, first second jobs and sort of moving into their career. Do you have any advices for um, 
for people like us? Well, I think the first bit of advice I'd give mm -hmm. is that just because you've graduated, that doesn't mean you stop learning. Yeah, that's right. And you have to keep learning. It's a continuous thing that you have to do throughout your life. Mm -hmm. As students, uh, one of the things I find that most students aren't very good at is communication. Yeah. So it might be a good idea to join Toastmasters and learn to improve your public speaking yeah. and your ability to communicate with people. That's very important. That's right. Second thing I think is students don't have experience mm -hmm. and the only way you're going to get experience is to get that, that first job. So you shouldn't be afraid of moving if that's necessary to get that job. Don't just say I have to work right here yeah. but you want to move and go where the work is. You can always move back after you've got that experience. Right, you kind of really you, you chase a job and then the job will chase you. It's no, about I, that I think networking so. skill and how You can to, use it everywhere really, yeah, in it's, every job. It's applicable to pretty much every job. Yeah, And they say that, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but 80% of people are afraid of public speaking. Yeah, it's probably true. They're, it's probably they're, true, right? They'd rather, I don't know, do some really terrible things than to public speak. That's yeah, what I heard. that's my yeah. wife. She, she'll, <laughs> she, she won't ever speak in public, you know, oh. and yet she talks to everybody. Yeah, and, it's, it's like one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you know, small groups, yeah, exactly. chit-chat. But like in a big sort of formal setting, it's difficult. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult to get your mind together and say the things in order. Yeah, did you find your earlier experience in high school like some somehow helpful in terms of your public in, public speaking skills? Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. So I think that when you do the election, well, there is some speech you need to do in front of the everyone and. Yeah, yeah I don't think I'd be able to do this today if I hadn't had the experience, uh -huh. because really all it is is practice yeah. and more experience, and then the more you do it, the calmer you get, and the more relaxed you are. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, more opportunities to you know speak in public is always helpful for everybody, not just um, not just grad students, but new immigrants as well. Absolutely. I believe that um, you know church or any community clubs or anything for new immigrants, it's sure. really helpful for that um, sector. And everybody is asked at some time to maybe make a little toast or a speech or yeah. say something about someone and whether it's their birthday or anniversary or mm -hmm. something, and you know, to feel comfortable just standing up in front of a group yeah. and just saying a few words is really appreciated by people. Thank you for watching today's Da Wen story. We'll see you next time.